Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to add different padding to each side of an element. Uh, sometimes you will want to customize an element so that it has different amounts of padding on each of its sides. CSS allows you to control padding on all four individual sides of an element. Um, the top, the right, the bottom, and the left properties. Give the blue box a padding of 40px on its top and left side, but only 20px on its bottom and right side. Okay. So what we're, we want to first off is we want to find the blue box. This is the blue box selector. And we're going to add, add, and now we want to add padding. Now there's two ways that we can do this. We can go padding top and then set that equal to, we know that we want to give it uh, 40 PX on its top and left side. So the, the top side, we're going to go 40 PX and then we're going to go padding left 40 PX. And you'll see that the padding over here is changing pretty dramatically. And then um, we want to go padding right. We want to go 20px. Padding left bottom 20px. Okay, and so when we look over here, we see that it's got that look. Now, um, this if we run this, the test should pass. Okay, cool. But I want to actually make a note on another way that this can be done. Instead of going, it goes um, with the with the padding selector, you can actually just make it padding, and then you can go, um, it goes top, right, bottom, left. So 40px, and then we can just go 40px, and then we go 20px, and we go 20px. And when this goes through, we'll see that it's the same sort of code and it should, this should pass the test as well. Oh, okay. So the class should give the right element of a 20 PX. So that means that we want this one to be 20 and then this one to be 40. Okay. So let's just go over that one more time. It says the top should be 40 PX, the right. So it goes top, right, bottom, left. So because we want the top to be 40 and the left to be 40, we make that and the 20. This is a much more efficient way of writing it. So I would recommend using this way in the future, though it doesn't really matter. You can definitely do it this way as well and you'll get the same results. So I hope that was helpful. Please give the thumbs up to this video if you thought it was useful and uh, subscribe for the rest of the videos. And let me know in the comment section if there's anything that you're curious about. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.